Hey guys, welcome back. Ed here. Um, this video is going to be two parts. We got the aft catapult that we're going to start off with, and then at the end we're going to squeeze in the crane um, that's on the back of the ship for the planes. I went ahead and added the crane into this video simply because there wasn't a whole lot to that crane. Um, and there's no sense making a video that's only going to be three, four minutes long. So I just went ahead and, and tagged it into the end of this video here. We start off with the aft catapult. And um, I started a, com we were going to do a complete build on that on the camera. And then I opted to just kind of show you a few things and kind of omit the, the boring stuff. So let's go ahead and get right on into it, guys. Welcome to Models and Beer. Okay, part one of the aft catapult for the USS Arizona Trumpeter 1200 scale. And actually, what I'm thinking about doing is going ahead and putting the crane into the same video simply because it, there's not a whole lot to it, it's not worthy of its own video. Um, here's the crane assembly here, you can see it's just a few parts. So we'll just go ahead and add that into this catapult video. We'll go into the catapult and then we'll go into the crane. Um, let me see here. Let me get it in the camera. Here's what we're working with. I got this piece already cut out of the photo art sprue. I got the folds already done. And I have this piece here, which is a kit provided piece that's going to go into this crane here or this um, catapult sorry and then we got this deck here that's going to go on top which is the underside of here and then we got a few small pieces here and, and so forth we'll work our way down so that's the game plan um, here is our catapult or the folded let me see if we can get a view of this here now I did not fold this piece over yet and you can see that it's gets folded over this way over to the top of that but we have to install this piece inside of here and again this is a kit provided piece everything else on this catapult is photo etch again so And we have a pulley system that's going to be going in here, coming out through that hole there. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get on into it. I, what I'm going to do is just, I'm not going to show the the actual work, our building again, like I did on the last video. It just seems to be too much. Um, what I'm going to do is show each step, and then I'll complete the step, and I'll come back. So, we're just simply going to add this... Um, piece here inside where it belongs and I'll show you that when it's done be right back all right got that step completed very simple um, again all we did was drop that kit provided piece in there and, and glued it into place so there we have it let me get this out of the way and now we got this pulley assembly right here which is part 42, 41, and 70 gets sandwiched in between. So I got those pieces already cut out and ready to go here. So let me go ahead and get those together and we'll be right back. Okay guys, got our pulley assembly built and installed. this in the camera here all 
There we go. Now we can fold this other piece over and seal everything inside. Let me just double check to make sure that we don't have anything else going in there. Oh, that seems to be it. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do, because it's photo etched and I don't take any chances, I'm going to start the bend with my bending tool so that I know it's bending right where it needs to be. I won't be able to bend the entire thing with this because of this edge here that's already in that forward position. There we go. Maybe just a little bit more. There we go. But we'll get a start with it and then that way it'll continue on where we need it to be. Alright, there we go. That should give us a start. get this piece here bent down there we go Okay, let me go back off camera. I want to glue this together and let it cure before we move on. So we'll be back shortly. All right, moving right on along. We got everything fastened up. I got everything sealed. And we are ready to flip this thing over. And we're going to be working on this top side here so our next step is this platform here number 18 and that's going to go right on top of our catapult so let me see here what we got 18. 18. and there she sits Part 18 right there. So let's get that cut out and we will be right back. Okay, I got that platform slash walkway cut out. Just to, wanted to show you really quick the detail on this. Hopefully you can make that out. It's got like some diamond plating type engraving on it. It looks really nice. You can kind of make that out. So, all right, just want to show you that real quick. Let's get this glued on top of the catapult. We'll be right back. Progress. We're making progress. Uh, let me show you what we got here. Got that piece glued on. I guess that's got some really nice detail to it. I'm very happy with that. Here's the underside. Yeah, so there we have it. Now, let's see what's next. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so looks like we got this strip here. Part 23 and 24. So let's go ahead and get those cut out and I'll get those installed and I'll be right back. I just wanted to show you really quick what these pieces look like. They are mainly just for detail. Um, you can kind of see the holes for... We're going to put those alongside of the catapult and it's, it's going to add some detail, make it look like some rivets and, and things like that going on. But I just wanted to show you these two pieces really quick just so you get an understanding of what they look like. So, all right. Be right back. Alright, got those two pieces installed. One went on each side. And let me just kind of show you the detail here. It gave us some nice detail with as far as brackets go. And some rivets. And let me show you the other side here. It almost mirrors the other side, so... Here we go. It's that strip right along the top here is what we just installed. So there we have it. Now, let's see what we got. We are moving on to Let's see here, we got these two brackets here, two number 26s, and those are going to get glued on to these two areas here. So let's go ahead and get those made up, and we'll be right back. Okay, got that step completed. You can see those there, and then we have... The duplicate on the other side there so yeah moving right on along um, what's next what's next let's see here now it looks as though we got these two steps here to take care of. I can get it into focus there. There we go. So it looks as though we got a couple of boxes to make. And those will glue in there next to those brackets that we just put in. And I'm not sure what's going on there until I look into that. So um, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, as in true models and beer fashion, I went ahead and completed this catapult off camera uh, just to get it done. And we got to make room for the crane. I want to get that squeezed in here on this video. So just to save time, I went ahead and completed this catapult. And let me just run through it with her real quick. Um, really wasn't much to see as far as the building. It was just adding parts and it's just as easy for me to show you the completed uh, piece rather you know as opposed to putting every single piece on so again I went with the kit provided cradle for the for the plane just to kind of keep it uniform um, if you remember back in the previous video I had a little situation with the photo etch piece for this so I opted and went with the, the kit provided a um, whole bunch of little pieces went on here, which added some really cool detail to this catapult. I am super happy with the outcome of this thing. Um, yeah, it's going to look really, really good when it gets on the ship. I'm kind of excited to get these, these pieces on here. Uh, the, you know, the two catapults and then the crane, because the back half of my ship right now is just uh, deck. So this is going to really tie that all together. So I'm really happy with the way that came out. So let's just give it a, a quick run through here. If I can get my camera to cooperate with me. 
Maybe if I put the back, white background up against it here, let's try this. There we go. You can make it out there. I got uh, the gray pieces are kit provided. All the gray pieces you see are, are kit provided. Um, everything brass colored, of course, is, is photo etch. But look on the. Let's see if I get this in camera here. All these little bits right here that are on this base um, really came out super cool. There was a lot of, look at that, a lot of good detail in there. And this um, bar here, I'm not sure what that is. Some kind of a plumbing, I'm assuming. Um, whether it's for hydraulics or air or whatever. Uh, I got straps that are holding that together if you can make that out so yeah it came out really really nice I'm super super happy with the outcome on this and like I said it's gonna look phenomenal sitting on that ship and yeah there we go and just for giggles let me show you the um kit provided piece oh, no, let me get it cut out of the sprue here just to so we can see what we're looking at here if I can get it out of there there we go yeah let me show you what the kit provided looked like and you can see the the difference between the all right, this is the kit provided catapult that was pretty much it you can see not a whole lot of anything compared to this big difference huh Yeah, the photo etch catapult had so much more going on, so much nicer than the, than the kit provided. So, here you have it. Just a, just a quick comparison. So, that completes the catapults, both of them. We got the aft catapult and the uh, um, catapult on the sets of top turret three. Both are completed. Let me flip this camera around. Be right back. Okay, guys. Got the aft catapult complete. It is in the back sitting in primer right now and now we're going to go ahead and get on into the crane um, like I said earlier we're going to go ahead and throw that into this video I already have it complete I already put it together wasn't a whole lot to it but I want to show it to you really quick before we get it into primer and then we're going to take both catapults and this crane and we are going to Put them into paint. Um, go ahead and put their final coat of paint on them. I have to still run the cables, well, thread, um, on the crane and the, I think Catapult might get one or two on there. We'll see if I decide to do that or not. But yeah, we got to get the crane, um, get it rigged up, but we're going to wait till after the paint job for that. And then we're going to go ahead and make a new video where we go ahead and set those onto the ship into their prospective homes. And... Guys, I, I'm excited. I can't wait to see what they look like on the ship. Um, there's, like I said, a lot of detail to these with the photo etch. And they came out really, really nice. And I'm excited to see them on the ship. So let me go ahead and show you this crane really quick. Um, like I said, it's already completed. I just want to give you a, a glimpse at it before we get it into primer and paint. So let me switch this camera around. I'll be right back. And here we have it, the final assembly of the crane and let me just show you what we got here yeah, let me put it on the white background it seems the camera focuses a little bit better when we're like this now uh, again all the gray parts are the kit provided and the brass of course is the the photo etch There we go. 
and everything's pretty straightforward guys I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this um, let me get it up in here Yeah, so it came out nice um, for as simple as it was. It, um, really not a whole lot to it. The crane itself was just one piece of photo etch with three bends or four or five bends. I'm sorry. And then the gray is kit provided. And then the hook assembly on the end. So, yeah, there we go. So let's get that guy into Prime. And then, um, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and shoot all three of those uh, with the navy blue. And then we'll make a new video of showing you the finished catapults and the finished crane sitting on the ship so uh, that concludes this video here of the build of the three appreciate you watching and like i said follow me on the next video and we'll see how they all came out thanks for watching guys bye, -bye.